guys, Shelly here in the kitchen. Um, gonna make up some cheeseburger pie, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. This is something I make every so often. Um, kind of funny, when Scott and I got married, uh, Scott's mom gave me a bunch of recipes. I should have dug it out, because I'm sure I have it here somewhere. I know I wouldn't have gotten rid of it. But um, she gave me a little recipe book at one point. I don't know if it was a housewarming gift or a wedding gift, you know, in with everything else that they did for us, which was a lot. Um, she gave me some recipes and on the top, she was really good about if she tried a recipe, she would write down in the corner if it was good, if it was excellent. Um, if somebody really liked it a lot, she'd write that in there too, in the little notes. And um, so she gave me a bunch of different recipes that said, Scott loves this, or is Scott's favorite. Um, and cheeseburger pie was one of Scott's favorites. Um, and so ever since I got those, that's how I keep them around, guys. I just keep giving him Scott's favorites. <laughs> So uh, I decided that I would make some cheeseburger pie, but through the years, we've been married over 30 years um, and together a little bit longer. And I kind of try to do it up a little bit differently. Not every time, but today I thought I'd do it a little different and show you guys what I'm gonna do. This is different, I haven't tried this before, um, but I think he'll enjoy it. I don't think he'll mind it at all. So we'll get started on what I've been doing. What I started with is, it says use a pound of burger. I had a bigger package, so it's more like a pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Uh, and I put that in my Dutch oven. That's what I decided to do um, my cheeseburger pie. And usually I use a pie plate or um, some kind of a pan with sides on it but I decided to use my Dutch oven because I have one that I just got and I love it and I want to use it as much as possible. So what I did was I cooked, um, I actually put a little drizzle of oil in the bottom and chopped up some onions and put those in and I put about, we love garlic so probably about a tablespoon and a half of garlic in the uh, pot with the oil and just let it cook up just for a few minutes. Um, and then I put in the burger that I had. Like I said, it was probably about a pound and a half, pound and three quarters. It was quite a bit of burger. Um, and then I cooked that up until it was nice and brown and then drained off the fat. Um, then I took these Johnsonville sausages them out so they're sweet and spicy flame grilled fully cooked sausages um, and so it comes in a five pack and I put in just two I've chopped them up bite size and then just dropped them right into the pot with the burger and let them sit so now what I'm going to do since that's all ready um, and also I started my oven 400 degrees so um, that's heating up and ready almost ready to go so I need a cup of bisquick now it calls for a half a cup but because I have so much um, burger and it's gonna be kind of a higher side I can add a little more so I'm gonna go with a cup of bisquick put that in there and then it says one cup of milk I don't have any milk as usual I feel like I'm always out of milk so I'm gonna use just regular water and it'll be fine we use just water a lot so I'm gonna go with a cup and a half of water all right and then we have two beautiful uh, eggs from my chickens and we're just going to drop those in. Look at how that color of that, it's so beautiful. I did wash these a little bit before I, before I put them in my little plate. They don't get dirty, they just get um, 
like pine shavings on them, stuck to them. Because while they're wet, when they come out, they kind of get stuck on there. So I just kind of take a damp cloth and wipe them off usually if they're dirty. All right, and then you're just gonna mix this. Okay, so that's pretty well mixed in. So I have, um, I usually use cheddar cheese, but I don't have any cheddar today, so I'm using the Colby Jack, uh, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. I have a little bit of that, and then mozzarella. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit and put it in my mixture. Shake a little bit in there. And mix it in. I don't know if they taught you to do that or not. I'm not sure. Now I'm going to take a little bit of mozzarella. Mix some of that in. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Good big chunk just fell in there. All right. Well, it's going to have a lot of cheese in it. That's okay. So I seasoned my burger with uh, salt and pepper, some garlic powder, uh, a little bit of taco seasoning, just to give it a little kick, and then some red pepper flakes. All right, I think that feels like pretty well mixed in well all right so that's all you need maybe a little salt and pepper on here again I did do it on my my burger mixture but it doesn't hurt to do this too there okay all right Let's move over to the pot and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. All right. So now what I'm going to do is sprinkle my, I put my cheese in the freezer so it's all like balled up. But I'm just going to sprinkle some cheese on top. We like cheese, so it doesn't matter how much. You're supposed to spray your pan, but because this had some fat in it, and I cooked it in this pan. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I did drain off the grease. I can't remember if I told you that earlier. Um, there we go. And there's um, probably a little bit left in there because it's not easy to get it all out. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my mixture and pour that in. Just pour it all over. And I don't know if you can tell, but it seeps down in. You can kind of see it go down in. I'm gonna give it a little shake. And get it moved around. Push it down a little. Now this is gonna raise up a little bit. So even though it's got all these pieces sticking out, it's gonna raise up above it and poof up so it should be pretty good but uh so we'll put it in the oven so 400 degrees and it's going to cook for about 25 minutes but because this is so thick this is a little bit thicker than your normal um, pie crust i'm going to um or pie plate i should say i'm gonna put it in there cook it for the 25 and then check it to see i may need to cook it a little bit longer but we'll see how long it takes Okay guys, 25 minutes and it's still a little bit, you know, like when you stick your finger in there a little bit. I mean, I don't want to stick it way in because it's really hot, but it feels a little bit mushy still. So I'm going to take a little bit more cheese and I'm going to cook it another couple minutes. So I'm just going to sprinkle some cheese on top. Maybe cook it another five more minutes or so. But we really like cheese on it. Alright, so 
so that should melt down and that'll give it a chance to cook a little bit more inside and it smells divine just so you know yum so here is the cheeseburger pie all done and it ended up cooking um about 29 minutes uh, I just kept putting it in a few minutes and checking on it because I didn't want it to burn. But it looks really good. I took a little bit of parsley and sprinkled it, just the flakes, and sprinkled it over the top like that. Um, just to make it pretty for me. Scott doesn't really care. But anyway, I was going to take, it's still fairly warm. But I was just going to take a little bit out here, take a scoop out. And maybe... That is cheesy. Let's see if we can get it all. I like the crusty part. A few more flakies all around. That looks really good. It smells really good. We can get a fork. All right. We'll give it a try. It looks like, let me just make sure, it looks like it got pretty well done. It's very cheesy. The cheese worked its way down in, which is good. It's really hot. Can you see it steaming? Mm. Oh, wow. I want to say that's the best yet. Mm. It's got a little kick on the back of the tongue from the, um, probably from the peppers and probably from the sausages because they're the sweet and spicy. So the spicy may be hitting my tongue. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's really good. I think Scott will really like that. It's so cheesy. I put more cheese in it than I normally do. So I think it cooked up really well. Um, it didn't burn on the bottom, thank goodness, because I was worried about cooking it a little longer that it might burn. It didn't burn. So 400 degrees, 29 minutes. After the 30 minutes, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, after the 25 minutes, um, take it out, put a little cheese on top if you like more cheese. Use less if you don't like a bunch of cheese and sprinkle it on if you do. And then just uh, pop it back in the oven for another couple minutes. If you use a deeper dish, um, I normally use a, just a regular pie plate. Um, that's just not the deep dish, but just the regular one. So um, this is good. This is gonna last us quite a while and it's really good because our weather has been so cold and uh, I think this will help warm us up a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this <laughs> and uh, I'll make Scott a plate and uh, we'll see how he likes it. So anyway guys, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you coming by and checking out this recipe. Uh, try it if, you, if it's something you think you may like and let me know in the comments if you do, if you like it or not and uh, we will see you next time. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.